Hello friends, I am Chanchal Bose from Mostly Linux. Once you have installed CentOS or for that matter Red Hat, your next task will be to install additional softwares. The moment you try to install additional software, you will find the system is trying to connect to internet. You are already having CentOS ISO or Mostly Linux, ISO or Red Hat. In this session, I am going to demonstrate how you can configure your system so that the system downloads or uses the local ISO file. You can install software either using graphic user application like add remove software or you can also install software using command line. For using command line I am opening terminal since I have logged in as chanchal so I will be switching over to root I am typing roots password. Now to install HTTPD software, I am typing yum install HTTPD. This package is web server package. Now the moment I type this command, the system is trying to connect to internet that is mirrorless centos.org. The reason being the yum command refers to a file which is stored in etc yum repos.d here I'm going to file system in etc yum repos.d folder there are four files with the extension dot repo system refers to these files and in these files you'll find that the address is mirror list HTTP since it refers to an HTTP address the system always tries to download package from internet so in this session I am going to configure an ISO file I have already downloaded those ISO files they are in my home directory downloads folder you can see CentOS DVD 1 CentOS DVD 2 they are already there I am going to configure these ISO files so that instead of connecting to internet the system downloads packages from these ISO files. First to use the ISO file I am going to mount those ISO file in a particular folder using this command minus O loop it's in my downloads folder that is root D O W downloads within that CentOS DVD one dot ISO and I am going to mount it in slash MNT. Now you'll find that the MNT folder has been populated with the contents of the ISO file. You can see it is already been populated. So now I can use this MNT folder as my default repository. Next I'm going to edit the file that yum refers to yum command refers to a file stored in yum repos.d and within that centos base dot repo here in this file the offending lines are this one mirror list httpd i am going to comment it out just by put putting a hash in front then i am going to remove this hash and here this http part has to be removed so I'm pressing escape then shift D to remove delete from the end of to the end of line then I'm putting insert and instead of HTTP I'm going to type file colon slash slash file URL then the path where I have mounted the ISO file then this update section here also this one is also going to refer to internet for that I'm going to disable it you can disable it simply by copying this line enabled equals to zero press escape then press yy this line has been copied and put it here in the extra sections too by pressing p and then go to the update sections here also press p so both extras and updates repo has been disabled only the base repo is enabled which now refers to slash mnt that is local file system now press escape and save once i have saved this file i am going to install the package using this command the same command yum install httpd this time around you'll find there is a difference now it is downloading files from the local repository that is slash mnt 
well i have configured the local iso file by mounting it in slash mnt and the system is installing files from the local repository each time you want to install a software you will have to mount this mnt files to overcome this you can very well configure your etcfs tab file which determines what to be mounted at the time of when the system boots up here i have written root download centos 600 dvd iso mnt and the most important section is file type iso 9660 and this loop parameter now whenever the system boots up your iso file will automatically be mounted in mnt or it could even be better if you can copy the entire content of the iso file to a local folder so you won't have to mind mount it at all so we are going to open the nautilus user interface and we are going to the top level slash here i'm going to create a new folder create folder centos install it's not necessary that the name has to be something like this it could be anything i just want to make the name revealing that's all i have created this centos install file then i am opening up a new tab here i am going to mnt folder and from mnt folder select the entire content copy it and then come back to centos install folder and paste it once the centos install folder has been completely copied you can now unmount the mnt folder that is by typing this command u mount slash mnt this will unmount the mnt folder since i have downloaded two iso files as you can see from my downloads folder itself there are two centos dvd1 dvd1 and the second one is this dvd2 iso next time i am going to mount the dvd2 iso by pressing ctrl r you can bring back the commands that you have already typed that is this command this time round i am instead of dvd1 iso i am going to mount the dvd2 iso now the mnt folder has now been populated with the iso content of the second dvd this time i am going to copy this dvd2 and paste it here in this folder when the content of both the ISOs have been copied to CentOS install folder, next we are going to change the Cent, uh, that is M repository configuration, which is in etc folder, and there in M repos.d folder, M repos.d folder, the CentOS base repo. I'll, this time around, I am going to use gedit text editor here. I'm going to change this MLT folder as I have now copied this file here in a local folder that is sent to us install. So this time I'm going to copy this and paste it here instead of MNT. I'll put this. Okay. So now from next time round, the system is going to use this sent to us install folder for installing additional software. Now save this file. Thank you very much.